evaluating negligence in Colorado e-scooter accidents. As e-scooters continue to revolutionize urban transportation in Colorado, it's essential to address the legal complexities surrounding accidents involving these nimble electric vehicles. Understanding the nuances of negligence in such incidents can be pivotal for both riders and pedestrians alike. Understanding Negligence in E-Scooter Accidents Negligence, in the realm of law, refers to the failure to uphold a reasonable standard of care that results in harm to another person. In the context of e-scooter accidents, this means not taking adequate precautions while riding or disregarding safety measures that should be observed on the road. When an individual chooses to ride an e-scooter, they inherit a duty of care not only to themselves but also to pedestrians, cyclists, and other motorists sharing the road. Elements of Negligence To establish negligence in an e-scooter accident, four essential elements must be present. Duty of Care this concept underscores the obligation of every e-scooter rider to exercise reasonable care for the safety of others. Breach of duty. A breach occurs when a rider fails to meet the expected standard of care. This establishes a clear connection between the negligent actions and the resulting harm. Our trusted Denver scooter accident lawyer will evaluate your case to present a strong case for negligence to pursue compensation. Causation in e-scooter accidents. Proving causation is a pivotal aspect of any negligence case. In the context of e-scooter accidents, it means demonstrating that the breach of duty directly led to the accident and subsequent injuries. Causation can sometimes be a complex element to establish, especially if there are multiple contributing factors to an accident. Comparative Negligence Colorado follows the doctrine of comparative negligence, which is a significant factor in e-scooter accidents. This means that if both parties involved share some degree of fault, the damages awarded are adjusted accordingly. This doctrine emphasizes the importance of thorough investigation and gathering of evidence in e-scooter accident cases. It allows for a fair assessment of liability, taking into account the actions of all parties involved. Gathering Evidence To build a strong case for negligence in an e-scooter accident, gathering evidence is crucial. This may include photographs of the accident scene, statements from witnesses, medical records, and any relevant documentation related to the incident. Additionally, e-scooter companies may be held liable if a malfunctioning scooter contributes to an accident. Seeking legal help. If you find yourself involved in an e-scooter accident, seeking legal advice is crucial. An experienced attorney can provide guidance on navigating the legal process, help you understand your rights, and assist in building a strong case for negligence if applicable. Legal professionals with expertise in personal injury law and e-scooter accidents can provide invaluable support in pursuing a fair resolution for your case. Conclusion In the dynamic landscape of urban transportation, understanding negligence in e-scooter accidents is paramount. Both riders and e-scooter companies bear responsibilities in ensuring safety on the streets. By comprehending the elements of negligence and the legal framework surrounding e-scooter accidents, individuals can make informed decisions in the event of an unfortunate incident. FAQs Can I file a negligence claim if I wasn't wearing a helmet during the accident? Yes, you can still file a claim. What if the e-scooter malfunctioned and caused the accident? If a malfunction contributed to the accident, the e-scooter company may share liability. Can a pedestrian file a negligence claim against an e-scooter rider? Yes, pedestrians have the right to file a claim if they were injured due to a rider's negligence. It's crucial to gather evidence and consult with a legal professional to pursue the claim effectively. What if the accident involved multiple parties? In cases involving multiple parties, the court will assess the degree of fault for each party involved and allocate damages accordingly.